Take a look at this display outside Dell Children's Medical Center. The 151 pinwheels you see here represent the number of Texas children who died last year from child abuse or neglect. The hospital has a team of health care and social workers dedicated to helping victims of child abuse. Here to talk about the importance of raising awareness on the issue is Dr. Kelly Liker, Medical Director of Child Abuse Pediatric at Dell Children's. Good morning to you. Good morning. So obviously, a uh, very sad topic uh, to talk about, and we hear the big cases that make the news, but how prevalent is child abuse here in Central Texas or even, even across the state? Well, unfortunately, it's very common. So in addition to the 151 children that we did lose last year as a result of abuse and neglect, there were additional more than 66,000 confirmed victims of abuse and neglect last year in the state of Texas. Wow. And those numbers really just reflect the number of children that we know about that mm -hmm. were reported. We talked uh, in the intro about this team of, uh, of medical workers who come together to help victims. What exactly do they do and what is their area of expertise? is probably different that it ranges you know across the board so they can um, care for all the different aspects of it yes uh, our team the care program at Dell Children's is a team of physicians, nurse practitioners, and social workers who have special training and expertise in evaluating children whenever there's a concern for abuse and neglect. We're part of the Travis County Child Protection Team and we are unique in that we serve the 46 county area that Dell Children serves. Mm -hmm. And obviously um, medical experts know the signs to look for but those of us out in, in public, we are the eyes and ears and those who are around, or around the children all the time. What are some of the signs that we can and look for to help these children? Well, some of them are, are things we may know. If we see unexplained injuries in children or injuries in very small infants, um, injuries that are patterned or in a shape that may reflect an object that was used to inflict them, uh, sometimes children will make outcries or disclosures to abuse or neglect they've suffered, and we should be very responsive to that. But also some more subtle signs. Children may exhibit behavioral changes, problems with sleep, appetite, academic performance, mm -hmm. those can be indicators that a child's being abused mm -hmm. or neglected as well. And real quick, we're almost out of time, but if you believe that a child is being abused, what should you do? Um, please report it. The hotline is 1-800-252-5400, and for more information, you can go to spotitstopit.org. It's our campaign for April's uh, Child Abuse okay. Prevention Awareness. Spotitstopit.org. We're yes, going to have that link on our website along with this interview and more information at kxan.com. And there you can also find information about Dell Children's Child Abuse Prevention Team that we talked about and info as we mentioned on how to re report child abuse and that toll-free number um, that uh, Dr. Liker just mentioned. All right, the uh, topic of preventing child abuse also has the attention of state lawmakers this legislative session and read up on our political coverage at KXAN.com for the reforms lawmakers are considering. Just click on the news tab and then click on Texas legislature. Let's